Hi, thanks for joining me today. This is the first video in a series where I'll be explaining my use of Adapalene gel to treat a fairly large wart on my left foot based on a medical study published in 2015. This study showed promising results using a similar treatment process. This video is going to be completely informational. There will be no pictures of warts or pictures of my warts. So if you're a little squeamish, don't worry. All I'm going to do in this video is go over the actual research study, the results, the methodology, and then I'm going to talk about how I am going to implement this process at home and the products and tools that I'm going to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the actual research study. So the title of this paper is called Topical Adapalene in the Treatment of Plantar Warts, Randomized Comparative Open Trial in Comparison with Cryotherapy. And this research study was conducted by Dr. Ramji Gupta. Um, this was published in 2015 in the Indian Journal of Dermatology. And I will link the URL to this article in the down bar. You can read it on your own if you'd like, but I'm just gonna go over uh, the research study, the results and the methodology. So there were um, two different groups for this research study. One group was given the adapalene gel for the treatment of their warts, and the other group was given cryotherapy. Um, so there was 25 patients in each group. 24 out of the 25 patients successfully cleared all of their warts in both groups. So why use one over the other? Well, I think the adapalene is promising for a number of reasons. One, the um, patients that use the adapalene gel had their warts cleared faster. So on average, their warts cleared in 36 days, which I know sounds like a long time, so we are in for a long haul. But in comparison with the cryotherapy, on average, it took 52 days. So definitely, it's a quicker treatment. Also, the patients in group A, they did not report any pain in use of the adapalene, where there was pain with the cryotherapy and no scarring as well with the, um, with the gels. So th that's all very promising. And then also, of course, you can get the gel at uh, Kmart. So pre presumably you could do this treatment at home. So for all of those reasons, I'm excited about trying this adapalene treatment and I hope that it's very effective. So let's go ahead into the methodology or how they administered the treatment. So I'm not gonna go over the cryotherapy because we're all here for the adapalene therapy. So basically patients were given adapalene two times a day presumably, although it's not said, but presumably once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Before the gel was administered onto the wart, the wart was pared down if it needed to be. So if you have a wart, you probably know that the, oftentimes there's a layer of skin that develops over the wart. And so that prevents the treatment from penetrating the wart. So in this study, they did remove the skin over the wart um, to improve the effectiveness of the adapalene gel. So warts were pared down if they needed to be, then the gel was applied, and then they used occlusive bandaging over the, the area. And so what is occlusive bandaging? Well, that just means bandaging that doesn't breathe. And they said, there's not a lot of details about this, but they said they used plastic wrap. So basically, the reason I assume they're using occlusive bandaging is to approve, improve the efficacy of the treatment, right? Because if you didn't put any sort of bandaging over it, the treatment might evaporate or get rubbed off. So in this way, it's non-breathable. It will be as potent as it possibly can be with occlusive bandaging. Okay, so in terms of treatment, it they reported that one of the patients had uh, their warts cleared in 15 days, is that right? Yeah, so that's the shortest. The longest was 90 days. So it could be up to three months to clear. And like I said, there was one patient that did not have their warts cleared. So this patient, lucky number 25, 
they tried the treatment for 210 days without any results and then just stopped coming. So there was no follow-up and, and their warts were not cleared after 210 days. So there is a possibility of that, unfortunately. But overall, the results look really good. Right now, I'd like to talk a little bit more about adapalene. Adapalene is a retinoid. It is a vitamin A derivative. It's often used for acne and for anti-aging. It is fairly strong. Doctors do not recommend you use this if you are pregnant because retinoids can cause birth defects. So please don't do this treatment if you are pregnant. I purchased this specific adapalene gel um, at Walmart for I think $12.80. So it was not overly expensive. However, I do think I'll have to use multiple tubes of this. You can also purchase this online through Amazon and I believe online through Target, but I'll leave a link below so that you can get all the information that you need. So this will be the specific gel that I'll be using throughout the treatment. Okay, next I wanna talk about my treatment process. Um, I developed this plan based on the information that was provided in the research study. The first thing that I'm gonna do is in the morning, I'll take off any bandages that I applied at night. I'm gonna go into the shower and I'm gonna clean the war in this surrounding area really well with a uh, shower gel. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm using occlusive bandaging. Um, so this can harbor bacteria and I just wanna make sure that that area is nice and clean. Once I've done that, I'm gonna get out of the shower and then I need to look at my wart and see if I need to pare it down. So if there's any excess skin that has developed over the wart, I'm going to shave it off with the scalpel and then um, I'll buff it with the callus remover if I need to do that. Now, when I am using the scalpel, the only thing I'm gonna do is shave off any skin that is above the plane of my foot. I am not actually going to dig in to the wart itself. Um, in the research study, the patients did not say that they had any pain, so I don't believe the doctor did any sort of um, digging into the wart. So I'm gonna be very careful and just shave off any skin above the plane of my foot. Okay, once I've done that, I'm then going to disinfect my tools with my isopropyl alcohol, and I'm going to disinfect the wart and the area around it, um, again, with the alcohol using these pads. I just wanna make sure I'm not going to spread the wart anywhere else. Once that's done, I am ready for the adapalene gel, so I'm gonna use this different gel. I'll just put a little bit on the tip of the scalpel and then apply it to the wart, again, trying not to touch the wart um, so that I can reduce uh, spreading. So once the gel is um, applied over the wart, I will then take my non-breathable surgical tape and put it over the wart itself. And there is breathable surgical tape, so I'm careful I'm being careful to use the um the non-breathable surgical tape because the study called for occlusive bandaging. There was no mention in the research study, unfortunately, about how long they left the bandaging on, but I'm just going to leave mine on for um, the whole day. So um, I'll leave my bandaging on and then at night I'll remove the bandaging. I'll clean the area, disinfect it, pare down the wart again if I need to, apply my different gel, and then put my tape over it and go to bed, and then wake up and do the same thing the next day. So, you know, in the research study, um, warts were cured within 15 days was the earliest, 90 days was the longest. I presume I'm gonna be more on the 90 day end just because I've had my wart for a while and it's, it's fairly large, unfortunately. So I think if I am able to cure it, it's probably gonna be on the longer end. But what I plan on doing is following this video up with a treatment video. So I will physically show you my wart if you want to see it and how I will be doing the treatment, including the pairing of the wart. So if you'd like to see that video, um, I'll link that below when it's available. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. I will list all of the products and tools that I'm using 
uh, below in the down bar. I do have a blog where I'll be um, updating my progress. Um, I'll probably put more updates on the blog. So I'll link that URL below too if you are interested in checking that out. My next video, which I'll post in a few days, will show my treatment process. So you'll get to see my wart and how I'm paring it down and all of that fun stuff. And then I'll post um, some future progress videos as well. So if you're interested in seeing that content, do subscribe to the channel. If you have questions, you can go ahead and post them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer questions for you. And, uh, and that's it. So thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video.